Hey guys, Nick here, and we all know how solar panels suffer from two fundamental inadequacies that make their proliferation incredibly hard in today's market. One, they aren't very efficient, and two, they cost a lot to produce and install. At least one of these issues has to be resolved before they can make any sort of charge in the industry. University of Sheffield researchers have pinned their hopes on a mineral called perovskite and have figured out how to create high efficiency solar cells with a spray painting process. It looks like spray on solar cells might actually materialize. Let's check it out. Perovskite is a crystalline organometal made mostly of calcium titanate and is actually fairly abundant. It was discovered over 150 years ago, but it's only recently that scientists have realized that it can replace silicon as a solar panel semiconductor. Perovskite is cheaper to obtain and process, and the light absorbing layer is only 1 micrometer thick at minimum, compared to that of 180 micrometers for silicon. Now here comes the watershed assertion that we all have to address. The spray on perovskite cells eke out only an 11% efficiency rating, while typical manufactured solar cells have reached as high as 19 or 20%. The researchers say not to worry because they expect to optimize the process and the perovskite cell application. The breakthrough here is that perovskite is applied in a thin uniform layer so it can efficiently absorb light on almost any surface. A layer of this material could be used as a basis for solar panels on cars or mobile devices that don't have the flat surfaces necessary for mounting solid solar panels. More importantly, it should be incredibly easy to scale up, or I guess down for that matter as well. The same nozzle can be used to manufacture a small solar panel for personal electronics and a larger one for a car. It's just about the number of passes it takes to coat the surface. The perovskite solution used can also be mass produced and is easier to handle than silicon. This all combines to lower the potential cost of a solar power considerably. So can perovskite supplant silicon as a standard for solar power technology? Give it a few years and we'll probably find out. If in the near future you buy a smartphone with a layer of solar cells on the back, just remember where you heard about it first. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.